Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video, I'm going to show you what global packages are in NPM and how do they exactly differ from local packages and where they are anyway. So starting off with local packages, what we have been doing so far, that is NPM install lodash, NPM remove lodash, all this package.json file and all that stuff. It's basically local to this NPM basics folder, right? That is the universe of of this whole thing you see that when i'm using npm install lodash it's not modifying a single file out of this folder right similarly if i remove the package it's not modifying anything out of this folder so it has no system impact i can pretty much take go ahead and copy this folder right here and uh, you know just just use it somewhere else um obviously assuming that lodash is completely javascript which it is so yeah, I won't have any hardware issues. So yeah, that's the idea. When you create a project, when you create a local project, what you do is that you install all the things that is required um, for that project um, using NPM. So the idea of all this package manager and module system is that every time your project needs a module, you install that, that module would be placed very close to that project that is in the same folder in which you run npm install and you can access it using javascript you can access it using node all that stuff right about global modules the the basic use for global modules the most common use is for the command line applications so you must have seen those create react app um, tutorials and installation where you can actually just write create dash react dash app right and it just works magically so what's happening is that this create react app is actually a global npm module it is no different that than lodash installed right here on a module wise uh, speaking on a module wise level but uh, the difference the difference however was that it was installed using npm install um, in no specific directory for example if i do a create react app only so it's installed in any directory does not matter in which directory you are the only difference be, uh, being that a dash dash global flag was passed and for short you can get rid of a dash and global and just write g so when you do that when you do something like that what happens is that it installs the package it installs this npm package as a global module and if your path is correct if your you know if your environment variables are correct for the most part you should be able to directly access that particular package which you just installed obviously if it offers um, as a command line execution um, using your terminal itself right uh, most of the packages which which actually say you to install them globally have a command line usage right create react app is one cypress is another right so you have all these packages which can be installed globally and they have their command line usage statically available to you so what's different well first thing is that global packages can not only be just used as a command line tool if they if they allow but uh, they can actually work right out from any script any node script on your systems right for the most part you don't want to do that because that is not the convention your code should be you know you should be able to just port all your code except node modules and the other guy should be able to run it for that part if you have global modules it creates all sort of problems so yeah for the most part you should not have global modules dependency in your projects but yeah they are there for your convenience so that's how global modules work and if you're interested you can just go ahead and write npm root dash g and it will actually show you the node modules folder which is for all the modules which is for the global modules sorry so if i go ahead into this folder what you're going to find is i have these are the modules which are installed on my system as global right so of course i have n which is which was the package manager which we did uh, very initially i have react native cli i have npm well npm is itself um, you know a package for itself because then it makes it easier to upgrade npm by just saying npm latest so you can actually get 
the latest version of npm installed using this little command that is npm install globally npm and at the rate latest well this is a convention we can get into that later on when we study about semantic versioning but for now i'm just gonna just, just give it to you like that so yeah that's that's basically it that's how you find uh you know npm root g anywhere npm root g just works out of the box right so anywhere you run it, it'll give you the location where your node modules are st installed. So that's how you find them. So that's all for this video. I'm gonna get back to you in the next one really quick.